All right, I'm in uh, Bishkek International Airport, departing for uh, my next destination. So I'm going to Kazakhstan, and so I'm pretty sad that I have to leave Kyrgyzstan because I wasn't able to, uh, you know, visit as many places as I wanted to. So it's definitely a place that I want to come back as soon as possible. I think Kyrgyzstan is the most fascinating place I've ever been to for many reasons. Um, I think the most important one is the, uh, I mean, I mentioned it in my first video, but. All right, <coughs> welcome to Kyrgyzstan. And I remember as a kid, I believe I saw like a photo like in school in a geography class or something. I think it was like some kids in Central Asia. They had like Asian features, but with like green eyes and like light brown hair or something. And I, I remember as a kid, I found it really fascinating. I've been fascinated by this uh, region ever since. The anthropological genetic characteristics of the Kyrgyz people. I mean, that's endlessly fascinating. I think I'm as fascinated as I was like the first day I got here. It's like I'm in a permanent state of uh, people watching and like observation of every face that I pass by. And I don't know, I just love it. It's just like, it's so exciting, you know? People with Asian features, but like green eyes, gray eyes, and uh, light, light colored hair and stuff like that. It's yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing and also one of the most important points I would say is that I've made like the most amount of friends and acquaintances in Kyrgyzstan than probably all of the other countries I've visited like combined. I show by Kyrgyzstan. Probably, that's what it means, right? Like we vibe. It's definitely a positive thing I would say. Yes, I say goodbye to uh, one of my friends, a girl I met here in Bishkek. And on my way home, I was feeling pretty sad. And, and you know, I've been traveling around for the last uh, couple of years. And it's the first time that I feel really sad to, to leave a country that I really wish that I could stay longer. Oh, by the way, this is my flight. So I'm gonna get in line right here. Yeah, I really wish I could stay for, I don't know, like six more months, a year. This is Nasvai. It's made of uh, tobacco and mixed with uh, chicken shit. Chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try actually. All right. <laughs> All of this? Yeah. Under your leaf. Uh, do you want me to. to it's not like all rainbows and unicorns. There were some downsides or things that were worn as not so great, including the, the behavioral and, and psychological traits of the Kyrgyz people that you know I had I had a hard time um, adapting to. Also, something I mentioned before, but a lot of like really disagreeable people, especially like in the service sector. Yeah, I didn't think it was possible to be more disagreeable than the, the Ukrainian and Polish store clerks and uh, people in the service industry. But I did find it even more disagreeable here in Kyrgyzstan. And that's something to say. So that's definitely a downside. I mean, the, the Ukrainians were pretty bad in, in, in that sense, but I love Ukraine. So, you know, it doesn't mean like I, it's just like one element of the culture behaviorally and psychologically and socially I'd say uh, like there's no concept of like politeness and social harmony as we do in Japan so it's like the complete opposite in that sense so that was interesting yeah I felt a lot of like tension and irritation in the air when I was walking around it's better like in the city center of Bishkek but as soon as I stepped outside like in uh, other um, neighborhoods I felt it you know there's a lot of uh, I don't know if it's due to uh, the poverty here but then I think well there are like kind of can tons of counter examples of poorer countries whose people are a lot more like jovial and happy and smiley you know like Southeast Asia Africa and Latin America right I wouldn't say poverty is the main reason it's definitely one degree I don't know actually I don't know you know, it might be the, the nomadic, uh, traditional nomadic characteristic, I would say, of the Kyrgyz people. Maybe it's the meat eating, you know, the animal protein that makes the people so, uh, you know, irritable, I would say. And yeah, that's one of my, my Kyrgyz friends told me, mentioned as a, as a possible reason for the uh, disagreeableness of Kyrgyz people. Yeah, the predators are a lot more irritable than prey, right? Herbivores. 
so yeah that's potential one reason and high testosterone as well which is would be genetic yeah definitely definitely very different from the Japanese people You can easily find two contradictional characteristics of Japanese cultures or Japanese characters. One is elegance, one is brutality. But these two characteristics are very uh, tightly combined sometimes. And uh, our brutality, it is never mechanized or systematized like Nazi's brutality. Sometimes uh, we are too sensitive of our defilement or elegance or sense of beauty of such aesthetic side. Sometimes we are tired of it and uh, we need sometimes a sudden explosion to make us free from it. For instance, after the war, our brutal side was completely hidden, but uh, I believe it is just hidden, I think. <laughs> I don't like the Jap Jap Japanese culture is uh, represented only by the flower arrangement, uh, such a sort of peace, loving culture. I think we still have a very strong warrior's mind in us. I know so the fact that I can uh, potentially pass for a local, but also like not exactly, because I do get like weird stares from people. A lot of people like stare at me, including like young children and like thuggish dudes as well. And so they can clearly like spot some, you know, something unfamiliar in my face. So that's, you know, really interesting as well. The taxi driver that I met today to get to the airport, like he was like, no, no dude, you don't look Kyrgyz. And he thought I was Korean. So he was pretty surprised when I told him, um, uh, you're Japanese. He was like, wow, really? I thought you were Korean. I don't know, a lot of people think I'm Korean. But then some people, you know, I would ask them, do, do I, did you think I was Kyrgyz when you first saw me before I opened my mouth? They were like, yes. I've asked a bunch of people and absolutely no one thought I was Japanese. Здравствуйте. Um, закрыты? Um, no. Туалет можно? Можно. Где, пожалуйста? Китайский? Да. <laughs> um, basically 100% were like, I think you're Korean. You're Oh, so I was, I didn't mention it, but I was pickpocketed. Someone stole my money, all my cash I had, and also my phone. Luckily, I was able to uh, take my phone back um, yeah, that was pretty miraculous. It was a funny like event because um, I had all my cash in the same pocket as my wallet with all you know my my credit card and everything. Yeah, I was in Marshoka. It was packed like crazy, and yeah, the dude managed to uh, steal my cash on my phone. And then I found out that that I didn't have my cash, but I had my wallet and my credit card. I was so like grateful to the uh, the pickpocket for stealing my cash, but not my wallet. I don't know, it was a weird feeling. I was like, um, should have felt like really, I don't know, like angry or sad or irritated, but it was the opposite. I was totally um, like happy, not really happy, but grateful. That was pretty, pretty interesting. Salam alaikum. But yeah, I had a really exciting time. Met lots of people, friends, acquaintances, like I said. And like strangers who uh, gave me their number and they were like, if you have any problem, just call me, you know, and I'll be there. And, and yeah, a few people like that. Well, like I said before, probably King uh, Sejin to Aisho So it really makes me want to come back, that's for sure. There a uh, couple of uh, Russian uh, households living here, so uh, 
We are like kind of wedged between four countries, like sandwiched between Kazakhstan, China, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. I hope that my country will uh, will be in peace with all its neighbors and uh, no war will spill over to the borders of uh, Afghanistan into uh, Kyrgyzstan. That's one of the main concerns because the United States is trying to destabilize the region in order to set on fire uh, China and uh, Russia as well. We're the soft underbelly of uh, Russia and China. Yeah. That's why China is persecuting Kyrgyz, Kazakh and Uyghurs like uh, Muslim minorities, kind of minorities. They were the majority and now like men were uh, taken uh, to concentration camps and uh, organs yeah. are harvested and Russia is playing its own role and the United uh -huh. States is trying to mess up like you know all of them they're trying to dominate the place all of them they've got their own agenda they're not mm -hmm. there for Kyrgyz people that but for their yeah. own interests oh yeah uh, what else there are some some other things that I um, that I noticed during my stay here one of them really interesting is despite the high birth rate of Kyrgyzstan uh, I showed the the Pyramid uh, right Okay, so the reason why you see a lot of kids in Bishkek, I mean for real, there's so many kids in, in Bishkek, and that's because of the uh, Pyramid des Âges of Kyrgyzstan. It's, uh, it's very young demographics, especially like if you compare it to like Japan's uh, pyramid. 55% of the uh, Kyrgyz people are below uh, 30 years old. That's why you're going to see a lot of young people. Uh, lots of uh, children and young people here because they make a lot of uh, babies. But yeah, despite the high birth rate, I did not see any uh, pregnant women on the street, which was weird. I was wondering why that, that, that was, I don't know. I saw like one pregnant woman during my entire stay here. Yeah, that, that's weird. And there's so many babies and children on the street. But the pregnant women, I don't know, maybe they stay home. Let's see what's going on. Это камера. Вы где купили? В Украине. В Украине? Да. Я из Японии. Ты знаешь? Япония. Да. На японском что-то можете сказать? Коннечива. Нихонкара кида кейдес. Вы говорите по киргизски? Да, на русском, на русском. Ah. 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 And also, yeah, other like cosmetic things like uh, the hair dyeing was pretty original. I don't know what kind of style it is, like anime style. It's like they have uh, part of their hair like dyed the Russian girls. They dyed it red for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's like anime, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh style. You have like one, one in mesh. Uh, uh, were like blonde and the rest of the hair was was untouched all right it's a nice little cafe Очень приятно. Взаимно. Конечно, приходите. Да. Будем ждать. Да. Приходите. Спасибо большое. Будем очень рады. Спасибо большое. Следующая неделя. И вы здесь каждый день? Да, я здесь. Отлично. Окей. Попросите Мира меня зовут. Мира. Окей. Не забудете, да? Я попробую. Хорошо. Вау, what a nice lady. Faith in the Kyrgyz people are renewed. But yeah, I'll definitely be back uh, as soon as possible. Maybe next year. Initially, I want to come back after Kazakhstan because I'm going to Kazakhstan now. And so I was thinking of coming back um, a month from now, but probably not going to be possible. So probably come back like next year, but I'm really impatient. Can't wait to be back. And first country that I feel so intensely about. Yeah, this is the first time I feel this way. Now I'm going to take my flight. Um, oh yeah, it's that one probably. That's my flight. See you under another sky in, in Kazakhstan. Alright, see ya. Peace.
to, then I will.